Hi, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting play today on my channel. I'm Lance, and today uh, I'm going to do a little 5x5 five five canvas panel. Should be fun. Let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to come in and put a sky in. All this dark stuff I got on here, this right in here, must have been from in my bag. It wasn't covered, so I didn't have a lot of, don't put too much white on, or white. Don't want too much. My sky's going to go here. I kind of just did a little, a little etched it out. And did a little drawing so I could go faster today. You. I'm not getting too much on there. There, some blue. I just got some blue. I don't know what kind of blue this is. These are just some really inexpensive. Um, very inexpensive acrylic paints, which is all you need. <laughs> okay. I think once you throw some something on it to protect it, uh, they look just fine. Get a little mister here. Okay, come in and kind of do that with the sky. I want it a little lighter at the bottom. I like having my palette there so you can see, but sometimes it's not as easy to get that. You know, you always want your horizon, the bottom of your cloud where your sky is to be lighter. That will give it depth. Painting 101. Okay, I can come back in and put a little more in there. That will give it a little over here. Same thing, just kind of come in and there. You can blend it up or however you want to do it. So there's our sky. Looks pretty good. How's our angle? Did we get too much light? Sometimes you get a glare from the cam. I don't have a direct light, it's coming from a lamp here on the side. So it looks alright. A little more white right here. Right at the very bottom. There. Now this is drying. As it's drying, it's easier to get the paint on. And I'll come back in and a little distant mountain there, which is going to be blue. I'm just going to kind of come in and put a little blue in there. And maybe add a touch of brown right here. Okay, I'm going to come right in here and make that little mountain right back there. So this is going to be the farthest one. It's going to be a few layers back there. Okay. Put that little one in. He comes over there. Okay. This brush is kind of big for it, but okay. See, that looks boy, I like that. A little bit of brown. It's got to be a little lighter than the sky. Come up a little bit at the bottom. There. See? Pull that in. We can come back in with this this mountain here and, and fix it. I like that. Okay. Where's the light coming from today? The left. Let's say it's coming from the direction, the left here. So I need a little light. I can go in and just add a little bit of highlights on him. You know, right there, maybe. A little more bumps in there. All right, there's your distant mountain. Okay, now here's a, a closer one. I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try some cashew. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work. Put a little of that right here. That might be a good color for a distant soft melt, mountain and stuff. And, oh, just about spilled my water. Okay, what I do over here is I just have a cup and I use that to with acrylics, you know. To, and you can let that dry. You come back in. And we can darken the sky, but I think it looks fine the way it is. So now I got to come forward. I'm going to do the shadows first. I'm going to take some more of that and some brown on this one, some blue. Okay. It's a little darker on this mountain. The shadows are gonna. This is the shadow side. Okay, I'm just gonna come in and create the shadow side of the mountain. And I might want to get a different brush here. I'm just trying to create where the shadow is gonna be. Okay, you can come in and make a line down the side. Doesn't matter. Okay, a little bit on here. There, this looks pretty good. Okay, you just kind of pull that in. Make some angles. Maybe it comes over here, right to there. Comes up. Put a little 
it's going to hit it. We don't know. Okay, grab. Put that in the water. I'm going to grab this one here I used the other day. I need a better, smaller brush. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to work here. I got this one. I got this one. I've been beating this one up, though. But that might give me a little more shadow. Oh, there. There. Oh, yeah. So the edges are frizzy, so it's not going to give me the control I want. There. There's our, there's that. And if I could, I'm going to use this one, too. This is a good brush. I've been using it. Can't grab some that. A little more brown in there. My brown's hiding over there. Sorry. Can't have me too much, though. There. I don't want to kind of... Sorry, my hand's in the way. I just want to kind of make that point right there. There. I'll just pull that over. Okay? Da -da 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 -da. Then I'm going to come back in. I use that same brush on the other side. I just cleaned it off. I'm going to take some of this some cashew, throw that in there with the blue. I don't know how this, ooh, that might work good. See, that's what I want right there. I'm going to come over on the highlight side and pull this way. Okay. And we can come in and just kind of throw that in. Okay, one more cashew color. It'll look nice there. See? I don't have any dark under there, so I can put a little blue underneath it and come back in. Let's do that. See, pull that this way. It's got to be right over that because that pushes that back. This brush is really a little too big for this, but I'm not too organized. But that looks pretty good. And I want to grab some more. Maybe. What else do I got hiding over here? That one? No. Oh, well, whatever. I can use a, a different there. Let's go back up here. Try to get the edge up here. I'm sorry, my hand's in the way. But there, just pull that over and, and up here. I could get a liner brush out too, but it doesn't have to be perfect. There. And you can see it's wet, so it kind of be a, sometimes it can be a little more difficult. There, let's grab some cashew. Pull that down. There we go. See that? They're fun. It's like a distant mountain color. And I didn't have to mix it. I just had it in my... See? And we can pull these little highlights over a little bit. And there you go. That looks all right. My camera's liking it. So I'm using my iPhone. And then just let these find some highlights. You know where you want them. There. There. So there's our distant part of the mountain. And that's, that's pretty good. Now we're going to come forward. And I'm going to use some blue. almost want a grayish color, but I'm going to use the blue, the brown. And I want to get some such a green in it, too. I'm going to put some green right here. Okay. Oh, that is a grass green. Okay. And I want a little red in there, too. Red and green makes brown. I think so, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to use this other one. There. I'm going to use a bigger one because this is all forward ground here. Okay, and if, you know, you can always come in too. and You can always come in and make this a little lighter down here at the bottom if you want. You know, kind of the base is, you know, nice and light. And down here, maybe a little lighter at the base. There. Maybe it makes it look a little better. Let's take some blue. Some white. Over here, just a touch of green in there, some red, okay, some brown, some brown, some more green, okay, there. That's close to what I'm looking for right there. Now if I put a little black in there, it'll it'll gray it. But you know what else we can do is if I just throw gray in there, it almost looks gray. Let's do this. Let's get a little black. See how everything's kind of bundled in the middle here? And I can just work my way down. Ah, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Sorry. I just don't want to. Let me slide this over just a little. Pull that over. Ah, you see that? I got black up here. 
but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm just mixing this up. I'm going to put a touch of black in there. And then I could put yellow ochre in there too. It would actually probably be better. It's more distant for the green, but oh well. There, that's what I want. Now let's come in here. I'm just going to make our fort. There's a big, big hill that comes down in front of this. Push all that back. That little guy. And he's going to automatically push that one back and then over to here. And it's just going to go up. Now this is distant, so can't have a lot of can't have a lot of detail in this, or it won't set back. Okay. Hope you don't hear the fan in the back. Well, I'm at a hotel working, so well, not working, but. Now come in here and just make it out because it's going to come all the way down to the bottom here because we got water. Okay, running out of paint. All right, take some more blue, brown. Just a mix of a little everything: green, red. Give us that color. Looks good. A little more green. Touch black. Not much black. Okay. More green. I like that. It's kind of a. As you get down closer, you can add a little more green to the bottom. Because green, you get closer, uh, you can see things better as far as colors. I need too much detail here, so I'm going to try this smaller one here on the edges. Okay, right in here. I'm just going to come clean in and pull that up. A little darker, a little more black red in there see too green there see just kind of I want to fill that edge okay and just bring all that down touch I don't like to squirt too close when I'm using this mister I usually like to be like I don't know 10 inches away there. Let me come, come up here there's the top even take this one a little bit. Get some of that in there. Come up here on top of it. Just try to get an edge with things. Seems to be the best edge piece I have. And then kind of pull those. Ball your angles. Some black, blue. A little blue at the base here. That's fine. Not the base before there. There. You don't want. There. Just getting two. How does that look? Sometimes it looks better. Okay, and then that we can come back over. There, that's steep, very steep in the background. But see the, the layers we're looking at here? We've got one, two, three, four. This is going to be a rock. Big old rock sitting there. And it'll dry out and probably be able to see it a little better. Okay. Yeah, these blue things work good, especially when you're blocking. Block and glare. Nothing worse than a painting than when you're watching it with glare, but sometimes it's hard not to do. Okay, and this this little guy here you could probably sell. <laughs> Somebody likes these little originals. Okay, all right. So we got that there. What else? Oh, let's go in and get some blue. More blue down here. More green. Okay, some white. Or water. Too much green. All right, go over here, kind of make it how you want it. Move it more white. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, a little mist. It's nice to keep this stuff wet. I like, I prefer oil paints, but you can't use oil paints when you're on the road like this because they take forever to dry and no place to put them. And you have your turp, your, then you have your, uh, other stuff like your paint thinner, turpentine, whatever you use. I use odorless mineral spirits or paint thinner. Odorless paint thinner, I don't use turpentine. I do all my brush washing in the garage. That's why you, if you have a lot of brushes, you can take them and wash them in the garage. Okay, see, right there. Down here, we can even add a little more white down in here. See, farther depth. 
another little rock there. Oh, sorry, I'm just snacking. I'm just standing up to look. There we go. That looks all right. I got a little little glare, but who cares? All right. Okay, and then we're going to come forward here in a minute, and we're going to have some... The water's looking pretty good. I want a little lighter at the base. All right, here's a little lighter. This, I don't know if, where this is at. Could be in Glacier. It's pretty easy when Glacier has a lot of content to paint because it's just got some pretty good stuff. I'm doing, I'm going to have one out next week on the Tetons. It's going to be one I'm doing from home. It's ready to go. I've got it traced. I just have to have time to do it. It's probably going to, but it will be a, a picture of the Tetons and a, a little river, a lake in front. It'll be a 12 by 16, and I'll put it on my site. Eventually, it'll be on my store, or I'll donate it to somebody or do something with it, but uh, it should turn out good. So, okay. All right, so now we got that done, and we can come in with some white down here. Maybe a touch, touch of color here. See, that's already drying out there, but that's all right. Get rid of that there. I want to come down here on the brush, and maybe we'll make just a little indication, just barely touching with some bit distant land. You don't have to hit them all, okay? Sometimes the land might be hiding, you know, anything that looks just fine. If you can see that, it just gives you an indication of some spots of land back there. Far off, we don't want a lot of, we don't want a lot of, um, a little white here. Lighten this up just a little bit there, okay? Right in there, right here in dark. Lighten the bottom of this up a little bit. Okay, base. A little light somewhere down here, so it's there. A little bit more down below. There. Does that look all right? Here, I don't want it, but a little more red in there. Green. A little bit of black, maybe up top. Watch this. That's the one I want, but I want right up here a little bit. Right in here. I can make that stand out more. See? Just a little trick you can do dark in the sky it'll really look better a little hack there, right there. And you can put a little bit of things in there if you want a little more Sounds a little darker there there see that you might have too much of a line there but watch this just come in and just blend it out Still wet, dries fast though. Okay, so that looks all right. I like that. Keep in mind the light's coming from this way, so you wouldn't see a lot of light here. You might, like right in here, you know, you see some light spots, and that's that's perfect. You can come in here and do this. A little light right in here. A little light right here. Just a little hidden there, just right coming through, and that's. Pretty good. Okay. I think we can hear me. Yeah. There. There. Okay. So now we got to work on our, our, there's our distant little rocks behind this main one. I'm going to take some brown and maybe some of this cashew. Okay. And I want some yellow ochre. A bit of that right here. I'm just going to leave that there so you can see it. You can see it. How long have we been here? 19 minutes. Good. I like getting these done a little shorter. Okay, that's soft. Let's do that. There. I'm going to come in here. This is another little, some rocks here. A little more color. We might even put in a little red in there. As soon as you get closer. If you use red, it's going to draw the eye to it. So don't put it up here in the middle of nowhere. Unless you, depending on what the painting is you're doing. But and this is just a little distant rock, a little lighter. So it's going to push the main one back. Okay, come down here. These are so easy to paint on. Okay. Yeah. 
They're fun. They're easy to. You can sell these dime a dozen if you want, or they're easy. You know, they're easy to ship. People like them. You know, just different things. Now this is way. The water's way down there. This I'm gonna put some trees in here to push that up. Okay. I'm gonna use the same color. Okay. I'm gonna add more ochre to it. Maybe even add a touch of white in it. I'm gonna make this a little bit whiter here. Too much. Nope. So just pure ochre will probably be the best thing to do. There. So that lightens that up. A little yellow ochre right in here. Okay, that just comes down. It's a little rocky area too. Just a little there. Oh, I like that. That's pretty good. There. Does that look like does that kind of look real? Okay. Now we'll do the big rock. We're going to have some shadows, right? So let's come in here. We're going to have some blue for shadows, some black. We're just going to kind of use some dark here. Come back down here, blue, red, black. If you get too much red in there, it's going to look purpley. We'll get some more blue. Want some brown in there. Okay, a little brown. I'll have to get some more. Get a little blast of water. And let's see. I'll get a little more brown, a little more burnt. Good. Okay. You don't need much paint. These tubes are pretty small. They don't sponsor. I don't get paid to use these, so I'm not really going to get too much of the. But you can go to any art store and get any acrylic and do this. Then you can spray them or put a gloss over them, and that protects them from fading. And getting dirty. A lot of times when you have a when you have a less expensive paints, they may not last as long. They say maybe only fifty or hundred years. So uh, you can do whatever you want there. And now we'll come in here and just throw in a little bit too blue. Too much blue. All right, a little red in there. Ochre maybe. Well, I mean, it doesn't look bad. There, that's better. You want it dark. You want it to stick out. See, but you're going to just throw some darks in here and there. And see, there's going to be some colors in here. I'm going to go back to the smaller one. Oh, I wish I had a different blue, too. Let's add a little more blue to that. And come back in. You know, a little black, too. There, that's what I want. Kind of make little, you know, little rocky indications, just like you're making mountains. Okay, just like you're making mountains, but the rocks for the same thing. Okay, come back in there. This is gonna have to have a little line there to pull. There, and I get some blue, some black, just a little bit of everything, and then you're, you know, maybe these come down. That's coming straight down there, that rock, and it comes this way. So you'll have some color in there. I like that color, that grayish blue. You know, and then this is going to have to have some angles on it. So it's got to kind of be the comes there and goes down. There. And then we just got to kind of think of the the rock and how. The, 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 the shape is. I need to get the. Okay. Use this one again. And up here, you know, you've got your edges. See that comes down there. Get some blue, black, some red, some brown, you know, some more blue. This. Just under there. There. That looks all right. I like that color. Yes, I'm going to squirt her out. And then up here, you'll have some more blue, maybe some stuff here. Come on over. Now, then we're going to play some color on color here, and then it'll make it nice. A little lighter here, maybe a little brown, and back to that cashew color. I'm going to take that and go this way. Okay. And even here, maybe it comes this way. There we go. We don't want a rock sitting here that is really, really going to have some highlight on it. 
Yeah, she was a good color. We'll pull some crimson in there down here. You see that? I'm just going to come here and just... Okay, I'll make a point there. There. Maybe that's a little rock there. At this point, it's drying, so I'm going to come back to that. Okay, we're going to come back to the big rock. And I'm going to get out my... Got this little fan brush somewhere. Good little brush for this stuff. There it is. I'm gonna make some trees down in here. Take some green and red. A little crimson color. Okay, some more green. I get green looks good. Let's get some green. You know, that's really green, but we can dull it down with some red. Okay, add a little. Yellow ochre. Oh, perfect. That's what I want right there. Okay. And we got little trees. This is a fine brush, but you can come in and just put them right here. One, maybe. I'm just going to tap them in. See how they look. There we go. Yeah, little trees sitting there. Okay. It might be a little crooked, but maybe I'll try this way. So that works pretty good. Bottom up. I want them to kind of there we go, smash them in. And you can come back in and get some more of that and do some little back and forth. Maybe I should have just done that in the first place. Okay, back and forth, just making little trees, little pine trees out there. Bring them up a little more, okay? A little black in there, okay? There we go, they're a little darker. There. Just come in and go side to side on them, just like we do. You can pull them like this. You know, however, I just want some trees sitting on that little pinnacle there. I'm going to do some more over here, which are going to be bigger. This one is going to stick up to about there. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little black to that. And we're just going to come in and do the same thing. Just touch. Make little tree indications there. That goes down to there. There. A little darker even. A little more black. Crimson. Or not crimson, but... Okay. One here. There. Then you don't have to worry about... I usually start in the middle and kind of... Then you can come back up to the top if you want. And there. A little tree there. Again, right here. Just barely touch up top. Just tap them in there. Okay. And one more here. Oh, that one's straight. Okay, a little more there. Maybe we're on the canvas. And come over here. And same thing. They're pretty easy. After a while, you just get an eye for them. You can just... There. Back up. You know, do that. Maybe there's some bushes down there. They're just growing out of the rocks. They don't really matter. Okay. And these ones should be a little lighter, actually. All right. Here. They should be a little lighter because they're farther away, but yeah, I'll just put a little, there. a little something right there next to it. How's that look? All right. Then if you want, you can go back down here and grab some this color and just pull the bottoms back in because it's on a rocky ledge. This is just that stuff I was using. It's kind of nice. There. I'll just push them right into there. Add a little brown in there if you want. A little darker underneath. Usually stuff might be darker underneath. Yeah. I don't know. Near the bottom. Pushing stuff back right in here. We'll just make a little same thing. Just kind of might make it look a little better. Okay, getting close. So we're gonna need some more ochre. We'll put that right down here. I think you can still see that. Oh, no, you can't. Sorry. I'm going to push it up. Push it up here. Okay. So you can kind of get this. I'm just going to take some of that color I had, and we're going to come back in. Use this pointer brush to get some of this up top here. You might not be able to see it, but I'm just going to mix some of that stuff. It was a uh, cashew. Yeah, I'm just going to come in and this is going to come in here. And 
and makes oof gotta stick out though to make the background fall. See? Let's make it a ledge. Down in there. Much a little bit of brown in there. There. All that does is dulls it down a little. There. Right here. Maybe that comes over there. These little points. Gotta have them in the darks there, so you can just push them back. Kind of look at where you want. It's a good color. I like that. That yellow ochre is good. And you might have some here. It's gonna come down, so I wanna go maybe see that. Put some paint on there and let it come down here. It's gonna be darker at the bottom. I'm just throwing in some some rocky indications. Okay, and we can get oh, a little red in there. Too much. Okay, the brown works good too. But okay, and down here we're gonna have to have some little. Might be shadow, but here you might be able to see a little something right there. Okay, a little something down there. Sometimes it takes you step back a little. Definitely right here, there might be a little bit of something coming in. Where the light is, there's a little red in there. Look out for that green. Oh, that's too much. There, a little brown. Oh. And put that in. That looks better. Just make some little indications. Whatever. So you got that rock. Can you see it now? There. That looks pretty good. Little rock sitting there. Good stuff. Now we're going to come in with some little white. I need some real good highlights. I'm not going to use the liner brush on this one right now. Pull some light into that yellow ochre. Some of that other stuff. Red or white. There we go. Watch this. Yeah, it's really come in and just that touch. Not everywhere. Make your brush work. Make your indications. What you want. A little light there. Light. Dark versus light. Okay. And these final highlights will come in and really help make it stand out. Okay. Can do whatever you can do it on the top. Come up here, maybe there's a little bit right there. Just some rocks. Some red in there if you want. Okay, a little bit right there. Just some little fun looking rock there. Over here, you can you don't even need to pull it that way. Bit there just to show you because you want this to be oh I just want it to kind of you know give you the indication that it's like oh yeah that looks good now one thing I want to do before I wrap up what time is it 33 minutes that's not bad for the day 33 minutes try and maybe I will try no liner brush where is it yeah, I'll just try this one. No, I don't need that one. This one here. Let's try this one. Okay. And we want to come in and get a little blue. That's hard to do. That's oh, my brush is wet. Ah. A little blue. Some black. Black in there. A little blue. I like that blue. There. Okay, and we're gonna come in and throw a little of this in. And watch this. That blue really make that pop. These shadows need blue in them, right? Pull them this way, a little bit right there. And you can you can come back and forth and do however you want it. But some of these little spots, like these peaks, be right there. Not a lot, just kind of jumping around. Yeah, a little bit right there. Now that's gonna make that stand out. Pull it this way. And you got a little you got a little reflected light under there. A little bit right in here. You don't need to cover all that dark, you know. You can come back in. Darken it up. Oh, I don't want that. Darken it up a little bit with some black. 
I'm just gonna make the edges really dark. Want. Let's get everything to be a little dark. It comes down into that. Pull it down, back in, bounce around, blue, black, dark, light. Well, however that rock goes, it's going to come down. All the angles. I could do better with a, with a little liner brush, but yeah, watch this. Watch this. Where is it? Yeah. It, this one's a little beat up from last time. It's not sticking together, but there's my liner. Get a little water on it. Grab some of this color. Some of that dark. Some black in there. Whatever. Yeah. We're out of blue. <laughs> oh well. Need some black. Some of that blue. And you can come in here and just watch this. With a liner brush, you can just come in and barely touch and make little cracks and stuff. See that? Little fine edges on there. Maybe you just pull them down. Come back in here. No, just a little. You can kind of wipe them out there. There. I think that looks good. Hey, okay. I think that'll be good for the day. I don't think I need to do much more. It's a good little painting. And, you know, you could put a, a tree up here if you wanted. But I think we're going to leave it. I think it looks good the way it is. And I'm going to maybe sign this one. Give me a little permanent red. Put that right there because it's wet, dried out. Okay. Brush. Liner brush. Okay. See? Pull it through. I'm going to do a not want much on there. Pull it and turn it. Can you see that? Come down here and just sign it. Go fast. Three. Five. There it is. Hopefully you like this one. And like this little painting here, you could sell, you could not sell. There's a lot of stuff that, uh, that you can do there. So thanks for watching. And thanks for the likes and subscribes and shares and all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.